welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. Today I want to talk about clutter creep. You know what that is. That's when little piles start to accumulate all over your house. And I had some clutter creep for the past week. It wasn't like a huge deal, but I never have a lot of clutter. So I was kind of like freaking out. There's a little pile of mail I had to deal with here. There was like little piles of kids' silly bands and hair clips and lipstick all over the living room in little piles and you sort of don't notice it. It's like it becomes invisible and those piles of clutter that creep into your home slowly start to multiply. And before you know it people, you're gonna be on hoarders. So what I did is what I always do because I'm a total nerd. I set my alarm on, you know my timer, on my stove for half an hour and I just put the clutter away. I put it all in the bag, that stuff that was in that room. The kitchen was kind of like totally cluttery because we're having a birthday party coming up. So I was just like putting stuff on the counter because it's Saturday and I was like, oh, it's only three days away and I have decorate cupcakes. So I left all the decorating cupcake stuff that I bought on the counter. Why wouldn't I just find a spot for it? So I found a spot for it because it's three days and you leave something out, even if it's for three days, it sets a precedent. Anyways, I'm such a nerd. So I set my alarm. And here's the tip that I wanted to give you. This is what I did to my children, which you know, you're probably thinking, God, you're so mean. But I told them, at the end of that 30 minutes when the beep, like the alarm goes off, if any of their toys are left in the living spaces, they're going in a garbage bag. In the trash. I threaten this a lot. I know I'm such a mean mother, but you know what? They're being mean to their belongings and they're being mean to me and our family home by leaving the crap everywhere. It's not showing respect for their belongings and it's not showing respect for me. When I say clean up your crap, I mean clean up your crap. And if it's not, it's going in a bag. And they're little, they're five and three, so I have yet to actually throw out their crap, but I know that day is coming. And what I'm gonna do first when that day comes is actually put it in a bag and then give it back to them like a week later. That's what my parents did. And then I caught on to that, that I wasn't actually going anywhere. And then they threw my shit out. And you know what? I'm super thankful that they did because when my mom was like, this shit's going in a garbage bag, I knew she meant if I didn't pick it up, my shit was going in a garbage bag. And I'm sure it hurt because some of the stuff she threw out, she bought and it was expensive. And that day is gonna come for me, but it's worth it. It's worth it to teach them to respect their belongings, to respect you, and to respect your home. We are so lucky that we have a home. I was watching this thing on the floods and people's homes are getting washed away and it was really sad and depressing. And I wanted just to give my home a hug. So I, I did, I gave my home a hug by cleaning up the clutter, by mopping, by vacuuming. I know it's lame, right? But it's your, it's your biggest investment. Maybe not everybody's, it's my biggest investment. And it's also a reflection of my family. It's a reflection of me. And it's the place where we all come to feel comfortable and feel at home. So we should give it a, tr a hug and treat it right. And get rid of those little piles of clutter. So set your timer, grab a bag, pick up all the crap, and then put it back where it belongs. You'll appreciate it, your home will appreciate it, and your kids one day, when you've garbage bagged their most prized possession, they'll hate you today, but one day, they'll appreciate it too. That's your tip, we'll see you next time.